Now we are going to see how to create this rolling kinetic typography. Let's get started. First of all we will create a composition, we call it animation, I am using 900 by 1080 resolution and duration is 10 second. Again we create a composition, we call it vertical text, this time I am using 954 by 1800 resolution and duration is 10 second. One more time, we create a composition, we call it text, this time I am using 955 by 112 resolution and duration is 10 second. Now go to toolbar, and select typing tool, you can type whatever you want. Now we draw a rectangle like that for background. I am using white background and black text. Now we duplicate the both layer by Ctrl D, and change its colors. You can get, free project file from the link in description. Only subscribed users can download this. Now go to vertical text composition, and we add text composition on it. Select the layer and move it to upward. Now we duplicate the layer by Ctrl D, and move it to downward. Select both layers and duplicate it, and move it to downward. We will repeat this process, until we fill the composition with text. Now go to animation composition, and we insert vertical text composition on it. We also add CC cylinder effect on it. Now we change, X rotation value to minus 9, and Z rotation value to 55. We also change, Z position value to 410. Now ALT click on Y rotation stopwatch. Type time multiply 30. Now we add drop shadow on it. We also duplicate the layer by Ctrl D, and move it down. Now we change some setting of drop shadow, so it give us a nice look. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for latest videos. Now select second layer, and we change, X rotation value to minus 21. Now we duplicate the second layer by Ctrl D, and move it downward. Now we copy the drop shadow effect from first layer and paste it on second and third layer. Now we duplicate the third layer by Ctrl D, and move it downward. We duplicate the fourth layer by Ctrl D. Press S to open scale. Duplicate the drop shadow effect and change opacity to 17% and direction to minus 35 degree. Now we duplicate the first layer by Ctrl D, and bring it to down. We also change X rotation value to minus 21. Now select first layer, and duplicate the drop shadow effect, we also adjust some setting. Now we copy the drop shadow effect from first layer and paste it on second layer. We will now repeat the previous steps to create two more rolls.
Now we duplicate the fourth layer. We also adjust some setting of drop shadow. Now we add Gaussian blur on eighth layer. We change blur value to 2. Copy the effect and paste it on fourth layer. I hope this tutorial helped you to make your own kinetic typography. Please like this video and subscribe the channel to motivate us. And see you in next tutorial.